morning, my beautiful people. Y'all, I am just leaving work. I worked the ER last night. healthcare for I think this year makes 11 years I've seen a lot I've done a lot I've seen a lot I've seen a lot and last night was one of two of the most emotional nights that I've ever had at work as a healthcare worker one was years ago with the young boy. He was 14 years old, couldn't read, um, could barely write his name. He was just in a bad, bad situation. Like his living arrangements were bad. And he was just so, although his everyday life was horrible, he was such a sweet kid. He was so grateful. I remember getting him, I was working the pediatric unit that night, and I remember getting him settled into his room and he was just looking around. I'm like, you okay? He was like, I'm going to sleep here by myself. I was like, yeah, this, you know, single occupancy, you'll stay here by yourself. Um, and he couldn't believe it. He could not believe that he was going to sleep in that bed by himself because he's never slept in the bed by himself. Um, throughout the night, he ended up wetting himself or whatever. So I went in and I was talking to him and cleaning him up, making him feel comfortable, letting him know that it's okay, accidents happen. He, so, he was so used to being beat for everything, which is one of the reasons why he was there. Um, and that just touched me. That Him in that situation, it truly touched me. And I worked with him, I think, for three nights straight. Um, and we were just catering to him. Every, we knew his situation, we was catering to him. Y'all, it was so bad I wanted to bring a young man home. And I, that morning when I got off, he just kept telling me, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was giving him like simple stuff, but the fact that we were just paying attention to him and talking to him and not degrading him because of the things that he didn't know, like he didn't know how to count money, he didn't know how to tell time, any of that and just being there he was so grateful and it in turn it made me grateful for the childhood and the loving parents that I had I boo who cried that morning when I got off of work I'm talking about boo who cried um last night um we were chilling we had got gotten the ER cleared out and there was a, a older lady and an older gentleman there and throughout the night um he was just telling us how good of a wife she was this and that da, 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 da. they had been married 49 years never had a fight they were a um interracial couple they were so cute so I was doing some um continuing education courses and I knew that we transferred her from one room to our trauma room and I heard the code go off and I immediately ran to the room. Granted, I was a good ways away because I was doing CEUs, but I immediately ran to the room. Y'all, in all the years that I have been in healthcare, I've never frozen up in a cold. It's, it, I don't know. It's not. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but my heart literally felt like it was going to come out my chest. So, in the middle of the cold, y'all, 
Okay, let me back up. I know I'm all over the place. But in January, my 31-year-old cousin passed away. She was my ace born cool. I'm talking about my, my girl. My, that was my girl. And I never dealt with it. Um, the following week, my eight-year-old cousin passed away. They both passed away from COVID. So, I, I mean, I can't say that I ever accepted it. But I dealt with it. I mean, I was living through it. I was living through it is what I'll say. Um, my grandfather just passed away from COVID. So that makes three heavy hitters in all in 2021, all from COVID. And I don't know if it's because I haven't properly dealt with their passings or what, but in that cold, my heart literally felt like it was coming out of my chest. And out of nowhere, the tears came. And I'm like, Rochelle, you, Rochelle, you gotta focus. You gotta focus. You gotta focus on the task at hand. Um, and I couldn't. I couldn't. I just could not. I could not. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. I don't know if, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I was trying to bring myself back, like, get it together, get it together, get it together. It's okay, right now this is what we need to handle. And I, I just couldn't do it. So I felt a certain type of way. It was just a ball of emotions. Just, I don't know, it was crazy, it was crazy. And I realized that I have not properly I don't know if the word, I don't know if it's that I haven't properly grieved. I'm so used to being strong. I'm the strong person and my mama, she's, she kept asking me, are you okay? Are you okay? You know, you've had some heavy hitters. Are you sure you're okay? And I'm, I'm just going, 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 um, just trying to drown out my emotions and feelings. And last night, it just hit me out of nowhere. Um, they brought her back one time, um, but she coded again. Um, I think she ended up coding a total of three times, and that last time it just, that was it. And her husband was so, my heart, even though at the moment I felt like my heart was gonna come out my chest, in that moment, all I could do was pray for strength for her husband because throughout the whole night, he just kept saying how she was such a wonderful person, a wonderful wife, mother, just a wonderful person. And I could just, I don't know, I just, all I could do was pray for strength for that guy. Even though at that moment, I needed strength like never before. Um, But nevertheless, I made it through it made it through it and I think I'm saying all of this to say Claude don't you run out here <laughs> I think I'm saying all of this to say you guys um deal with your emotions excuse me whatever it may be deal with your emotions because if you don't if you keep bottling it up it's eventually going to catch up with you and you're going to be forced to deal with it. <sighs> um, I don't know. I don't know. I remember somebody saying, you had this to happen and you had that to happen. You never posted about it and I couldn't post about it. Sorry, y'all. I know it's real shaky. Um, I couldn't post about it because I felt like if I don't post about it, it almost don't make it real. But it's real I mean it's I don't know I just I don't know y'all I don't know 
deal with your emotions accordingly. Grieve whenever you need to grieve, however you may see fit. Um, and yeah, take it head on. Don't bottle up your emotions. Don't be like me. Don't be like me. All right, y'all. I don't want to start rambling, so I'm going to end this video. All right. Um, y'all know if you like the vibe, go ahead and subscribe. And if you're one of my people, thanks again. Come again and bring a friend. And I will see y'all in the next one.